Hello everyone, this is Anson and welcome to my video guide on how to use Google Calendar to pay your on, bills on time. A couple days ago I wrote a guide and I figured that some people might find it easier if they could watch, uh, watch a video of me doing it. So, um, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to google.com and sign into our Google account. If you don't have a Google account, uh, we can create one. It's a very simple process and only takes basic information. So what you want to do is go ahead to the top right and click sign in if you have an account or if you don't have an account, either way. Um, if you have an account, go ahead and log in. If you don't, you'll see this blue box down here that says don't have a Google account. Create an account now. Go ahead and create an account. Um, you can pause the video um, and then go ahead and start it back up once you've done that. Okay, so once you've created your Google account, go ahead and log in. Get logged in here. Um, I do not work for Google. I am not affiliated with Google. I use it and um, their system works for me so by way of that I end up doing a little bit of marketing for them but I'm not, I do not receive any money for this or, or anything like in terms of that so I just want to throw that out there. <coughs> okay so once you're logged into Google you'll notice that on the top left there's a bunch of links. These links will always be here no matter what Google site you're on um, so we need to use the calendar service so I'm going to go ahead and click more and find where the calendar is. It's right here. Okay so once we do that, I'm going to change this color what you're going to see is you're going to see a blank calendar and um, I have a few other calendars in here but you're basically just going to see your email address highlighted and that's the calendar that you're going to use. I'm going to use a test account um, for the, the terms of this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we need to look at is to create an, a, an event on Google Calendar is real easy and that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to create an event for every bill that we have and um, luckily Google Calendar has this nice, nice little feature that, that is added in the program is called the repeat feature so we can make an event repeat 12 times instead of having to create 12 events for every month in a year if you have a bill that's due every month so it makes it a lot easier so the first thing we want to do is uh, since we're talking kind of from monthly terms let's go over here to the right and change our view we're in the week view right now let's go ahead and look at a month view it'll give us um, a better idea oh and actually I had uh, I have already used this test account um, this test calendar let me just create another calendar real quick here terms of this tutorial. Okay, so I have my calendar <coughs> test 2 and this will be a better color. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to create an event for every bill that we have. So let's say I have rent that's due every first of the month. All I'm going to do is click on the day that my, my bill is due. So I'm going to click on January 1st and I'm going to name, the, I'm going to create an event. I can name it rent. Now, if we wanted to, we could create this event right from this screen, but we need to change a few more, a little bit more information about the event. So we're going to go ahead and click on Edit Event Details. <coughs> when you do that, uh, this screen pops up that we can edit all the information about an event. So we've already named it. That's the first important thing we need. There's really three things that we need to do. We need to give it a name, we need to tell it to repeat, and then we have to give it a reminder so that we get an email reminder to let us know that our bill's due. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so I've already named the event. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on repeat, this little checkbox here. When I do that, this box is going to, is going to pop up asking me um, when I want the event to repeat. Since most bills are monthly and my rent is monthly for this example, I'm going to change this drop down, uh, the repeats drop down to monthly, and I'm going to say it repeats every one month. Um, the other information you don't usually have to worry about. <coughs> so we can just go ahead and click done. Now the last thing I have to do before I save this event is to add a reminder. Okay. Sometimes by default it'll have a reminder in there. Um, remind me 10 minutes by pop-up before it's uh, due. That's not really going to help you <laughs> in terms of paying your bills. So let's go ahead and create a different reminder. Now, I check my Google Calendar on a regular basis, so I don't really have too many reminders. Um, but if you're just if you're new to the service, you might want to set up maybe two reminders. Um, I would say you know an email. There's only two options: pop-up or email. You you want an email. Um, say seven minutes, I mean seven days, I'm sorry, seven days before, a week before, or we could just do one week. Um, if you're, like I said, if you're new to the service, you can go ahead and at, enter um, another reminder here. So let's say I also get reminded two weeks before. So I'll get an email letting me know that the event is due. Um, once you've added the reminders, go ahead and click save, and you'll see on your calendar there's now an event on the first of every month. There's January, there's February 1st cycle through the months up here go I can see here my events for February March 1st um, so it's gone throughout the whole year okay that's what we wanted to do we don't have to make 12 of those we only have to make one okay now for the purpose of this tutorial I'm gonna go ahead and create another event here uh, I'm gonna do it kinda quick um, I'm gonna call this an electric if I could spell there we go okay I'm gonna edit the event details I want it to repeat 
it's also a monthly bill so I'm gonna have it repeat monthly okay um, and then I'm also gonna go down here and I'm gonna add a reminder I want an email one week before my electric bill is due so I go ahead and do that now I can go ahead and click save and you'll see I also have an electric bill on my calendar now okay so that's that's cool we can see all of our bills when they're due um, we need to add a c one other thing to really exploit the functionality of using Google Calendar to pay our bills and that's let's add our payday okay maybe you get paid monthly weekly um, whatever your pay cycle is let's go ahead and add that to the calendar so say for this example I get paid every two weeks and um, it starts on the, the 7th I'm gonna go ahead and create another event and I'm just gonna call it payday I'm gonna edit the event details again um, we need to make it repeat okay so for this example I'm gonna say that I get paid bi-weekly so I'm gonna say weekly every two weeks on Friday if that works okay and hit done you could add a reminder if you want I don't really ever have to remind myself about payday I know when that's coming <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and save this event and you'll see now I have a payday event on there so what this allows me to do is you know saying you let's say you're paying your bills on a um, paycheck to paycheck basis what you can do is you can say okay I get paid on the seventh what bills do I have to pay between now and my next payday you can see right here we don't have any bills to pay before our next payday on the 21st however once the 21st comes around we can look at our calendar and say oh well, yep I'm gonna have to pay my rent on February 1st and then on the same day that I get paid I'm gonna have to pay my electric so I probably could have to get that that out there a couple days before so I'm gonna have to pay both of these bills with this payday um, if you're if you're doing that I, I like to get that money right out of the accounts right away and then you don't have to worry about it um, and then the, you know you can the next month comes comes along you can look and say up oh, I don't have a bill again my next payday that's cool I can you know have a little bit of extra income up oh, and then my next cycle I have to pay bills okay so that's how I kinda use Google Calendar now the other thing that, you, that I can do is once you pay a bill we need to add something to the calendar to let us know that we've paid the bill I find the, the easiest way to do it is to go ahead and edit the event name um, so if I go ahead and click on this electric bill I've already paid it we're gonna change it to, to denote that I've paid it and I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit event details now to display on my calendar I find the easiest way is to just put paid in parentheses next to the event name and then go ahead and click save and this little box is going to pop up asking if I do I want to make this change to this one instance of the event or to all of the events because I haven't paid all of my electric bills for the whole year yet I just wanted to do it to this instance okay and once I do that now you can see the paid next to the name denotes that that, that bill has been paid and I don't have to worry about it anymore um, so you know my rent up here say I also paid this go to edit event details and just add paid parentheses next to the name save it only to this instance and boom you can see okay my rent's been paid my electric bill's been paid I don't have to worry about anything until my next uh, rent bill on February 1st now obviously you're probably gonna have more bills in here unfortunately <laughs> I know um, but hopefully this will kinda give you a little bit of an easier way to um, kinda keep up with your bills and, and know when they're coming up and when they're due instead of getting them in the mail or, or something like that um, so, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and you can email me. My email address is ansona4 at gmail.com, or you can go ahead and comment here somewhere on my website. Um, you can see that this video is going to be located in this section. I haven't added it yet, obviously. Um, so that's where you can find it. Um, obviously, you've, you've found it, so you realize that. Um, but I hope everybody has a good day, and um, we'll be talking to you later.